Hey everyone, welcome back to Wixfix. I hope you're having a fantastic day. My name is Ryan and in today's video, we are gonna be discussing the differences between a homepage and a landing page. So if you are a brand new designer or maybe just a small business, if you search up the term landing page on Google, you might find images that just look like home pages. And although they look very similar, there are a few key differences between a home page and a landing page and when you want to use them. Now I am gonna show you some examples in just a couple minutes of exactly what I mean, but I'm gonna cover four examples and what makes landing pages different. The first thing is home pages are typically an accumulation of your services or products or whatever you're offering on your website. Whereas landing pages are a little bit more targeted to one thing. For example, if you have a design agency, your homepage might show your web design, your logo design, development, or yada, 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 or any other services that you offer. But a landing page might be more targeted to one of those services. And this kind of leads me to my second point. Home pages are typically just the pages that your users land on when they enter your domain into their browser. So if you go to wixfix.com, you're gonna land on my homepage. However, landing pages are typically used in email marketing, social media marketing, or even more so paid advertisements. So if someone Googles web design agency, and maybe I put out some sort of paid advertisement for our web design service, then, Maybe an ad would pop up for that user that Googled it and they would land on my web design service on my design agency website. And that page is gonna specifically talk just about web design. It's not gonna mention the logo design or development or any other services that my design agency offers. It's really just gonna give them all the information that they need on that page to make an educated decision on whether my service is right for them. The third difference between home pages and landing pages is the home pages allows the users to create their own unguided journey on your website. Whereas landing pages are typically a more controlled or guided journey. Now, if you've been watching my channel for a while and know in my previous web design videos, I kind of tell you guys to make sure that every page leads your users down some sort of journey. And although that is true, the point that I'm trying to make here in today's video is if they're just on your normal website, they can at any point go to any other pages on your website and may see information that maybe is not directly related to why they came to your website in the first place. Whereas with landing pages, instead, you might have a completely different menu of pages that your users can go to that are a little bit more refined and discuss the topics for the reason that they were there, right? So if they're interested in web design, they might see blog posts about the web design and they may not see blog posts for the development or logo design or other services, right? It's gonna be a much more targeted journey for them. And the fourth difference that I see between home pages and landing pages is a lot of landing pages typically offer some sort of discount or deal for the user to claim. I don't see this on every single landing page that I've ever been on. So I do think this one's slightly optional or maybe even just depends on the type of business you are running. But I do notice a lot of landing pages offer some sort of discount or deal that allows the user to save a little bit of money on their service or product or whatever. And again, I'm gonna kind of cover that in just a minute and why that might be useful um, in just a second. But for now, let's go ahead and check out the DoorDash homepage. Here, we are on the DoorDash homepage. If you are not familiar with what DoorDash is, this is basically one of those apps where you can order food to your house and someone will go to the restaurant, pick it up and deliver it to your home. So you don't have to go pick up the food yourself. So with DoorDash on their homepage, right at the very top, it allows you to order food to your house. Below that, we have something that says, become a Dasher, become a partner, download the app. And then there's a bunch of other things that the users can go on their own journey with and find information or more information about DoorDash. However, DoorDash actually has their own subscription service that helps users that use their service a lot save money on their deliveries. So if you were to Google something like Dash Pass on Google, you might see a paid advertisement that leads you to a landing page that looks like this. So right at the very top, 
you can see their call to action for the dash pass. And then below you can see all of the benefits that you get from the dash pass. Now, a couple things I want to note about this landing page in particular, I think this is a great example and showing you how concise the landing pages need to be. For example, the homepage covers everything about DoorDash and their landing page. It only talks about their dash pass. That's all it says here on this landing page. However, I don't think that this is a perfect example for the majority of you guys watching this. And I say that because DoorDash is a very established business with millions of users. So they can get away with a very short landing page just like this. However, for the majority of you watching this, you're still maybe a small business or maybe a medium business trying to get your name out there a little bit more. So you're gonna need to include more sections that give your users more information about your product or service or whatever so that they can make the educated decision to see if they, you are right for them. So with that being said, that might mean that your landing pages may end up looking a little bit more like home pages than the one that we are currently viewing here for DoorDash. But let's head on over to Wix Studio. I kind of created a little home page and a landing page to kind of explain it a little bit better. And we're just gonna go ahead and review both pages and kind of talk about the differences. Here we have our home page. Right here in the menu, we have links to our other pages on our website, right? So if I click about, it's gonna take us to the about page where our users can learn about our mission statement, our values, our team, and maybe even have a call to action if someone wants to apply for a position at the company, right? Very general about page stuff. They can even get linked to the services page or portfolio. And then our call to action is to just book a call if someone's interested in using one of our services, right? That's all that's in the header currently. Down below here, we have something that just says design agency, and we have a paragraph that kind of explains maybe a little bit more on who we design for or why they should choose us, something like that. Down below the hero section, we have a list of our services. So we offer web design, logo design, and development. Below that, we have an about section, and if the user presses learn more, it can potentially take them to the about page, right? Then below that, we have our latest projects. So here we can display our logo design projects, our web design projects, our development projects. And even below that, we have our reviews or testimonials, which again showcases logo design, web design, and even development testimonials, right? Down below that, we have like a very general call to action. See how we can help you today, book a call. And then we have our footer, which includes links to our other pages. So this is a really good example of a homepage because again, it's an accumulation of our main offerings. It gives them a way to check out our work, see reviews for our work, and allows them to go on their own unguided journey across our website. And if they're interested, they can of course book a call here or go down to our call to action and book a call there. It's a very, very simple homepage. However, if we do an email marketing campaign or social media campaign, or even some paid advertisement campaign, let's say someone Googles web design agency, then we might want to lead them to our web design landing page. And there's going to be a few things that you will notice right off the bat. And we're, again, we're going to cover everything here, but the first thing I want to mention is our menu here has changed. We don't, we don't have the about page services and portfolio. Instead, we have process about work and review. And in fact, these links are not to pages. They're actually linked to anchors on the page. So again, this is a very guided journey. Also over here for our button, it doesn't just say book now, it says get 10% off today, right? So we're allowing our users to claim a discount or deal if they book with our services. And then for the hero section, you'll notice it doesn't say design agency, it says web design here. And instead of a paragraph here, it actually just has a form that says claim your 10% off. So that way your users can claim the discount or deal before they may think it expires. You might even have like a little 
uh, like something right here or somewhere on this page that says this deal is active for a certain amount of time. I've seen that on landing pages, but if it's not an actual temporary deal, then I, I wouldn't do that. <laughs> if it's not a deal that will actually expire, I don't recommend doing that because it just makes you, um, if they come back to your website later on and they see the same deal and it says like, you know, it just doesn't look or doesn't put your company in the best light. So if it's an actual deal or limited time deal, then I would put a, like a countdown or let them know it expires on this specific date. But if it doesn't actually expire, don't, don't put the expiration date, but you can say claim 10% off and allow them to book um, from this page. If we scroll down on the home page, we had a list of our services, but because we're not talking about our other services here on the web design page, we're only gonna be talking about web design. Instead of services, we have our process. So I have three um, parts of a process for web design. You design, you build, and you launch. So that's very general, but that is going to help users learn more about your process for the web design service. If we scroll down, we have another about section. However, on the home page, we, we had a button that said learn more and that linked to the about page. However, for this specific call to action here, maybe this links to another hidden page on your website that talks more about how your team has helped other companies grow their businesses or some some sort of like case study or something that would be really good if we continue to scroll down we have our latest projects you can see web design one and web design two you'll notice that we again we do not reference our logo design or development service here we are only interested in showing our web design projects same exact thing for our testimonials or reviews we do not show the logo design or development reviews here. Below that, we have another call to action. This one isn't as general. It's more in line with the promotion here on this landing page. And in the footer, you'll notice that we don't have links to the external pages on our website. Um, we have links to our social media. We have our phone, our address, and then we have another button to allow our users to get that discount. So this is a pretty decent example of a good landing page. And I kind of want to explain why you might want to use the discounts on your website. Um, again, this isn't applicable for every single business, but depending on your business, it might be beneficial for you. For example, if we go back over to DoorDash, if I was already a DoorDash user and I ordered from them a lot and I realized, hey, if I signed up for their subscription service, then maybe I would save a little bit of money from delivering food, right? So I might sign up, pay $10 a month and save money on my orders from, the, from then on, right? So since I'm already an active user I'm and I sign up for to pay $10 a month, in a way I'm already starting to benefit from that service that I subscribe to. So DoorDash may not offer me a month free trial. However, if I was not a DoorDash user and maybe I was trying to decide if I wanted to try DoorDash, Uber Eats or Grubhub or like the other delivery apps, right? If I just started Googling around and I saw an ad for DoorDash Pass for one month free trial, then if I was to sign up for that, that experience that I have with DoorDash Pass may convert me over to a paying long-term customer. So having these discounts on your landing pages or deals that your users can accept on your landing pages will help potentially convert new users to paying customers. And that's typically why you will see on a lot of landing pages specific deals the users can accept. But that's basically gonna wrap it up for today's video. I hope this video helped explain the difference between home pages and landing pages. If you found this video very informational, please go ahead and give this video a like and subscribe to the channel for more Wix Studio content coming out really soon. Thank you all again, and I will see you on the next one.